Hey guys, Steve Lav here. Uh, on this one here, I finish up that uh, dust bowl from hell job. I went back over there and um, tied in the condensing unit and the air handler and run the uh, condensate line and the drip pan line. Uh, tied in the condensate line in the basement into an inch and a half um, P-trap type of setup that the washing machine's dumping in. I wide off of that. And what I did also on the returns was um, on up on the upstairs on the returns I sprayed some of that spray foam all the way around the edge. So, and also I took the uh, filter grill returns in the ceiling. I took the filter out and I put some of that uh, silver um, silver tape on the inside of the filter grill so it can't suck any air in from the upstairs uh, attic area. Yeah, I use some of that tape. That stuff works pretty good. That foil tape, you know. This way here, uh, because there's so much dust and stuff, I don't want to be sucking any dust in from any cracks into the return type of thing uh, from the attic. So uh, I did that. Now, um, next week, I'm going to have to send an electrician over there uh, and uh, wire it. And I'll have to go back when it's warmer out. It's only been getting like, I don't know, maybe to like 60 degrees. It's not going to really warm up for a little bit. So I really like to wait for like a 75 degree day where I can put a good load on it to check the uh, subcool on that. Uh, that's the best way to charge an air conditioner when there's a load on it and you can run it. And let it run for a while, things stabilize and whatnot. So I pulled a vacuum on it, um, you know, and uh, I got it down to like 350 microns. I was good with that. And I let the gas into the system, so I'll have to just go back and charge it on a warm day. And um, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. fitted. I bent my my three quarter with my bender. My nitrogen tank there. Vacuum pump. Put my nitrogen gauge in here. I'll show you when I get it set up. What I'll do is I'll put a slow purge of nitrogen before I solder that up, braze that up. C tank here. A little settling tip. I got different size tips. I got a monster tip there if I want to use it, but this is good for going up in the attic. Look at the size of that tip. That thing would put out some heat. I also got the oxygen acetylene set up, but this is fine for houses. Alright, I got my, my regulator here. <clears throat> With my setup here for low flow to the nitrogen. I got my high side and my low side set up with my hoses. I like to wrap them with, with uh, socks. Okay? Wet, wet socks. When I'm done soldering, I'll hit it with that rag. Douche it. So I'm coming up my yellow. Okay, into my red. Get this open, this open, this closed, that closed. I'm going with the nitrogen in the red. Up the liquid line, coming back down the suction line. I got it off here. I can put that right against my ear, and I can hear I'm getting a good flow. I don't want a lot, because you could blow the solder out. I just want a little bit. I'm good to go now. I can solder that up. Make sure I don't burn my uh, my hoses.
upstairs. This is why I like that MC tank fits right in a five gallon bucket, carry it right up in the attic like nothing. Alright, I gotta sort of them too. I got my water here, my bucket of water. Alright, good luck! Upstairs, I'm uh, putting my nitrogen test on it to see what we're doing. I always check the holes, make sure, listen with my ear. So we're coming out nice. Don't have to be much. Just a small amount. You don't want to put the pressure too high because you can blow the solder out. That's it. What I'll do is I'll take this regulator off. And we'll put some pressure on the system. And we'll check if it leaks. So I put my regulator. I got in a little gun case. I put my regulator in here. And I got this yellow jacket. I like my uh, blue vac better than this one, but I put this in here and I got room for my other regulator. This way here, don't get you know, screwed up in the truck. Alright guys, it's been almost 8 minutes and it's 2.60. 260 so I'm good with that put my vacuum on it and ain't leaking put my vacuum on it we'll see see how far we can pull it down I use the 38 um, off my 38 tap the reason being is I can't use apion hoses on this because I can't the core removers see how this is core removers won't fit in there Bad design, so I'll just pull it down with this. I got plenty of uh, other stuff to do inside, and I'll run the vacuum. I'll just let it run. Yeah, this is how I carry my regulator. In a little gun case. So 
so he doesn't get beat up in the truck, you know. It works out okay. Take a little while to pull down, but I'll let it run. I'll go upstairs and do some work. Get my 3 8 line hook up to the vacuum pump. So um, I'm going to shut my gauge off, shut the pump off, and open up these valves, let the refrigerant into the lines. And I'll have to come back on a nice warm day and charge it once the electrical is hooked up. Probably won't be for, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks. It's the highest it's getting is around here is in the 60s, so um, I'll wait for a nice warm day to put a load on it to check the charge. a blower pan put a piece of foam here for hang and then it runs over and down right. on the threads I use Teflon tape now I come out of the um, the pan and I trap it right there I like to put the trap inside the pan in case it freezes and splits it'll, I'll be able to see it'll drain into that secondary pan got a secondary pan I Put a piece of two inch rigid foam underneath the air handle to lift it up. Hang is right there, it's basically hanging on the pan and then it turns and goes down and I'm good with that. Alright, all I have to do now is um oh I got the thermal expansion bulb on there too. I'll put that on there for the expansion valve. Um once an electrician comes and wires it, we can put this door back on. I gotta do the basement work now on the drain and I'm done. Until after the electrician comes and I can come back and charge it. Two drains coming over here. This low one is the pan and this upper one is the condensate line. A yellow tape on it, other ones for the electric, electrical. Oh, they came down here, you can see the yellow one, that's going to be for the electrical. It's going to run now. 220 up there. We'll basically, put an elbow here. That one there is going to be the pan that's going to stay right there. If that thing drips, we know the pan's leaking. I won't even put a hanger. Put a pull tie there. I'm gonna cut this Y in. Before there was just a straight piece of pipe here coming off the string. So I cut a piece out. And uh, I'm gonna put the washing machine back in the top of that and then the, the condensate will just drain in the top. 
That's it. I'm gonna put this drop cloth down so I wouldn't get any glue on our washing machine. Super heat, but I'll be checking with some cool. But if I need to, it's there. Come right off. Nice little cool down the whole wood. All you know is electrician. All you know is electrician. I got plenty of room here. I got probably a good. Oh, two feet, 18 inches, yeah. Plenty of room around the unit. I have to get to it. I get ready to work on it. That's a dryer that come with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.